I feel like we captured something so special with this movie that the last thing I would want to do is try to make another movie in the same way and recapture that. Welcome, Krisha, mm -hmm. which we've just learned that is the proper pronunciation yes. <laughs> because a lot of people are saying Krisha. And which is fine. Trey, <laughs> Trey, the director. First time in Cannes. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. So we talked a couple of weeks ago. Indeed. And I asked you, you know, how you were looking forward to it and whatnot. What's the experience like now actually being here? It's been a blast. Yeah. Like, it's been awesome. And it's also, I don't know, it's weird because we were able to bring so many people from our movie, you know, we're mm -hmm. able to bring the family here and it's just been genuinely fun. And uh, I don't know, it's been a blast. It always was a feature from the start and that's what I wanted to do. And long story short, that's what I tried to do with the short. Uh, I shot it in summer of 2012, and uh, I didn't know what I was doing. And I was like the sole producer. I put in the just like seven thousand dollars. It was like the ambition was the movie that we have now, but I didn't have the resources to do it. And I found out the hard way. That was the worst week of my life. I had a nervous breakdown. I was <laughs> crying in my parents' bedroom every day. And then, uh, and then I took two years to re-edit and rethink the movie and try to pull a good short out of it, which I thought I did, and I was proud of it. Got into South by that gave us some uh, uh, motivation, you know, because it was well received. Wrangled the troops together. I rewrote the feature. It was like I got a do-over, and I shot that this August, and now we're here. Let's talk about the lead character of Krisha. Um, how would you describe her? Charismatic and uh, mm -hmm. tragically uh, unable to uh, stop sabotaging her own life, and um, in inevitably. Um, on her way down. What made you decide to work with your own family, with your own aunt, with your parents, with everybody? Well, it was the only way I, I would do it. <laughs> <laughs> it was the only way I would do it. I wouldn't have made the movie if I couldn't have uh, shot it in my mom's house and had my, you know. Well, also, I wrote the role for Krisha. Mm -hmm. Like, that's a huge part right there. I wouldn't have made the movie without her. And the subject matter is so personal. I thought that's what would kind of transcend this and make it a special movie, you know? Um, so None yeah. of these people, however, are professional actors. Krisha is. I am. Okay. She's, uh, um, she hasn't done, you know, she's had small roles in a lot of movies. In a nutshell. She's never had I, anything like this. I went to LA when I was young and I uh, was not willing to sleep with the right people. <laughs> and um, I stepped back from it and had a great life doing a bunch of other things. And when I discovered voiceover, I'm like, in my closet, in my pajamas, yeah. I can make a living. Yeah. So I've been living in Hawaii and Mexico and all over acting, but all the roles that came to me came through friends or casting directors, mm. hey, this script fell in front of me. And I never pursued it, I'm the, I'm the anti-actor in that okay. regard. But he wrote me a role that you can't not do. Is there more attention on you now since this is? I think once the movie comes out <laughs> yeah. actually, and people actually see it, you right. know, because. People just have heard buzz yeah. now, but a lot of people haven't seen it. I would so. say for right now, what it is, is after screenings, I'm getting a tremendous number of hugs. Yeah. People come up to me and say, I have to hug you, right. which is wonderful. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I mean, seriously, I'm very zen about it. If I get more roles, I will feel blessed. If I don't, I still feel blessed.